to the tribe. So I first want to say thank you to all of my new tribe members who have joined into this big, beautiful, melanated tribe. And if you have not joined into this big, beautiful, melanated tribe, what are you waiting for? I'm going to need you to go over here, hit that red subscribe button, and join into all of this tribalness that we have got going on over here. Okay, so in today's video, I know you guys are probably like, what in the hell did you do? What is going on? Well, I'm going to tell you, okay? I was pondering to myself, I need something different, I need something new. And around this time, every year, I tend to braid my hair. Now, how in the hell did you braid all of your hair? Well, I'm going to tell you my secret in braiding all of my long, thick, natural hair. So if you want to see how I achieve these braids, just keep on watching. Okay, so those of you who are following me on Instagram know about a week ago that I braided my hair because I went on a little vacation. I went to Vegas and I just just wanted something. So um, around this time every year I will post a couple pictures up of me in my braids last year and the year before that. Yes, I gained some weight purposely so I look a little thinner but... I will post some pictures up of me and my braids and I use the same method of braiding my hair every year and it never fails. Now, braids were a way back in my teen days that I used to just kind of maintain my hair. It was not necessarily to grow it or to do anything, I just predominantly kept braids throughout my whole high school year. I will post a picture up of that as well if I can get it from my mom if I can find one um, but yeah I, I rel relatively just kept my hair braided and this is what I do every year so what did I use I used expressions it was four ninety nine pack so I used expressions hair I used castor oil this light is always so bright you can never like see but I use castor oil and this is the now brand from GNC and I also use my aloe vera juice now I used this only on sections that I needed to retwist and I'm gonna get to that right now so how long are these braids I know you guys are probably wondering like if my hair is mid thigh then how long are these braids these braids are freaking long okay they come to about the crease of my knee. Okay, so I realized that you guys could not see how long they were. So this is another clip that I inserted of me standing up so you guys can get the full Monty of my braids and how long and luscious they are. So here they are. And yeah, they're, they're kind of heavy. <laughs> this is how they look. Okay, they are long. They're really long. But they're so pretty. I love them so much. It seems like every year when I braid my hair, they get longer and longer. Only obviously because I have to braid them longer than my natural hair. Especially like when you're dipping them in hot water. And I don't you don't want to you know dip your own natural hair on that in that hot boiling water so um i do have to braid them longer than my natural hair so only naturally they're going to be really long and people look at me like why are her braids so long well because my hair is damn near this long so that is why i love them but I miss my hair, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them in. My mom was like, don't take them out after two weeks. It's been about two weeks, and I'm like, damn, I wanna take these out, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them in. I'm gonna leave them in. So, how did I achieve my hair like this? So basically, all I do, and this is my method I've been using for years, I braid my twist. It's easy and it's simple. So basically what you do is you know how people use the rubber band method and they section out their hair, they put rubber bands, we don't got time for rubber bands, the rubber bands pull on your hair and snag and we don't have time for that. 
So what I do is I braid over my twist. Now I make sure that my twists are moisturized. I make sure that I have a relatively fresh set of twists or I'll just go in and redo some twists that look like they need to be redone and I braid my twists. Now, when I was doing this, I didn't film the whole process because I just kind of did it on a whim. I will insert a clip of me right here somewhere actually installing my braid. My twist, my braid. Yeah. Installing my braid, okay? So there's a lot of braid tutorials on YouTube that you guys can go and follow. It, this is not necessarily a tutorial on how to braid. This is just my method and how I use the twisting method to achieve my braids. Now, okay, sorry, my camera cut off. All right, so like I was saying, this is just my method on how I achieve my braids. And also, to me, this is probably one of the best methods that I've tried. And I just kind of stumbled upon it because when my hair got a lot longer, I was like, Ugh, I don't want to take all of my twists down and have to, you know, separately braid all of my hair. So I tried it in twists. And then when I took them down, my hair was already detangled. I didn't have to worry about the ends of my hair snagging when you when, like when you're taking the braids down how the fake hair can kind of intertwine and snag on your strands well they're strength in numbers so if my hair is twisted and I'm taking down the braid then the hair is not snagging on individual strands which is causing a lot less breakage and it's just the best method for me also when I take my twist down I got another style until I wash my hair and I twist my hair back up okay another thing I don't use anything on my twist a lot of people get a lot of buildup and they really have to clarify or they have to wash their braids I don't do that I don't put anything on my braids I don't do anything different than I do with my natural hair so when I'm moisturizing my hair well my braids I'm spraying aloe on my braids and then I'm going over that with my castor oil. Another thing I do want to mention is I soaked the hair in apple cider vinegar before I put it in my head. Not because of the irritation that it gives my scalp. I have never gotten irritation from the braids, you know, irritating my scalp or anything like that. But I do go ahead and I soak the hair with apple cider vinegar to get off of the chemical that coats the hair. Because when I go to moisturize my hair and spray the aloe vera juice on my braids, I don't want that chemical melting off, if you, if you will. But I don't want that chemical coming off of the braid and seeping into my natural hair because that's chemical and you know that we don't do chemicals over here. So make sure that you do soak your hair I know a lot of people braid the hair and then they'll wash their hair but what we're not realizing is all that chemical is slothing off of the braids and it is just absorbing into your scalp and into your hair and you're wondering why you're not retaining length why you have braids in well it's chemical chemicals have reactions and that's just the way of the game uh let's see what else can I tell you? Another thing, you really want to make sure that you have a healthy scalp if you are going to install braids. Because if you do not have a healthy scalp, a healthy environment for hair growth, then the tension of the braids and your scalp issues are two things that do not mix. So you do want to make sure that your, your scalp is healthy to withstand the tension of the braids and your hair will flourish. As far as moisturizing my scalp goes, I just moisturize with my castor oil. I'll probably mix, you know, a little essential oil, olive oil in a little applicator bottle and I'll just moisturize my scalp that way. And that is pretty much it. At night, I tie it up with a scarf and then I tie it with another scarf towards the end. I put like a safety pin so that the whole length of my braids are covered so that it's still not causing friction because my hair is in here and we still don't want 
friction even though my hair is down here somewhere and we don't want friction even though our hair is braided we still want to make sure we are taking care of our hair underneath okay no protect no protective style should be any means of you neglecting your hair okay there is never a break from your natural hair so just keep that in mind i know a lot of people say i need a break from my hair no just because you have a protective style in does not by any means mean that you should be taking a break from your natural hair. You should always be thinking of your natural hair. Your natural hair should always be in mind. Be mindful of keeping your hair moisturized and everything. And what you can also do is with the applicator bottle, you can go in with each braid and just moisturize like the ends, like where you see the ends of your hair. You just wanna go ahead and just moisturize the ends and keep those nice and moisturized okay so i know i showed you guys the clip of me like how my hair was sectioned off or whatnot but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take out these two or just one in the front and i'm gonna show you guys how i installed the braid so i will be right okay so right now i'm actually taking down the strand of hair that i want to show you guys how to do and let me show you what I mean about when you're taking it down. So you can see that I am taking it down and this is my strand of hair. And you see how my, my strand of hair is just unbothered. So it's just a lot easier to take down. I don't have to worry about uh, the, the um, synthetic hair. One day stop it, dog. I don't have to worry about the synthetic hair snagging and pulling on the ends of my natural hair see it's just so easy there you go okay so i went ahead and i took out this twist in the front so since i took it out let me show you my hair is really really moisturized as well okay but since I took it out I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray it down with aloe vera juice and I'm gonna retwist it just because I want to get the hair that has shed it out I want to get it out and I will be doing how I maintain my box braids as well and how I take care of my hair underneath because just because my hair is in box braids does not mean that I am not going to take care of my twist underneath so every few days i'll just go in just like i do my twist every other day i'll take out a few twists and i'll retwist them just to get all the shed hair out well since my hair is in protective style which is always in a protective style but since my hair is underneath the box braids i'm going to be taking out a few box braids every other day making sure i get the shed hair out of my natural hair so that that won't be an issue later and it keeps it keeps the hair fresh so I'm going to go ahead and spray my hair with aloe juice. And I spray my scalp with aloe juice as well every other night. And then um, I'll also take a little applicator bottle of apple cider vinegar and cleanse my scalp. But I'll do those videos later on. Right now it's just going to be how I achieve my box braid. So gonna go ahead and take this twist down and then we can kind of get an idea of how much hair sheds out of your hair within a week if you don't if you don't constantly get all that shed hair out okay so I'm gonna go ahead and down a little bit more just kind of softly pull at the top here just to get all of the shed hair loose okay and I'm gonna just go down the length of my hair and all the shed hair should come come out And this is the shed hair that we got out. Okay, so all this hair shed it out. And 
And remember, the longer your hair is, the more it's going to look like it's shed, just because your strands are long. So if your hair was shorter, the ball would be smaller. If your hair is longer, then your shed hair is going to appear like there's more because your strands are long. I think that's about it. This is all in total. Let me ball it up. This is all the shit hair that I got. But you know, if you can't like really see because my nails are black, but that's all the shit hair that I can. Okay, so now that I got the shed hair out, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize it. So before I put in my braid, I made sure that every single twist had a coat of castor oil. Now you can use whatever it is that you want to coat your hair. A couple of shit hairs are coming out. Um, so you can use whatever you want to coat your hair to twist, twist it. Um, but the one thing I, I just don't really suggest using a cream. But I mean, if that's what moisturizes your hair, go for it. Only because you're already creating buildup, and we don't want buildup. And as you guys could see when I had took the braid out I didn't have any build up around my scalp because I'm not putting products constantly on my hair I'm not putting gel on my edges I'm <laughs> I'm too old for that but <laughs> no I'm just fine but um, I'm not I'm not putting gel on my edges and I'm not you know making designs on my forehead I'm not doing any of that if anything I'll take a little bit of aloe vera gel and I'll just kind of you know run it down just to make it look cute but nothing nothing too too crazy okay um i like to keep it simple as simple as i can as simple as i possibly can okay so i'm coming to the end a couple of shit hairs come out okay. so i'm coming to the end So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more castor oil on the ends and I'm just going to slither it down. Okay, just castor oil. And then also before I braided a twist, I did use a little bit of flaxseed gel to keep the ends hard. I wanted to keep the ends hard, okay? Because when I'm braiding, like I said, I don't want any snags. And when I'm taking them out, I don't want any snags. And it just keeps your ends together. So I want to take some flax and just put it on the ends. Okay. There. And that is that. Okay. Okay, so now we got the twist in. I'm gonna use the same braid that I used to, um, that was in my hair in the beginning. So I use just a regular wrap around method, nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna come up a little closer so you guys can see. I hope I'm in the right. Let me, let me move my mirror really quick so I can make sure that I'm in the, so, can you see? Okay, so here we go. This is, so I'm just going to just do it simple. I'm just going to go ahead and just take my hair, put the strand on both sides, pick my hair up, and just cross the synthetic hair like that. Okay, and then just braid like normal. I'm doing okay. there you go and then the strand of hair that you grab and I mean the thickness of the strand of the synthetic hair 
that you grab depends on the thickness of your twist. So if you want larger, thicker braids, then you're going to need the same thickness of synthetic hair that matches your own personal strand of hair. Okay, let's see. Now we're just getting closer to, not closer to the end, but my hair is starting to thin out at the bottom. So I'm just going to grab now a piece of synthetic hair and feed it in with my twist. And I'm also going to put a little bit more flaxseed gel on this part of my hair. So let me grab some right now. So I just went ahead and just put a little bit more flaxseed gel on my hair. All right, now I'm just going to continue to braid down. This way, I don't have to worry about my hair. I don't have to worry about the individual strands sticking up too much. And I don't have to worry about if my hair is rubbing against things causing friction because it's in the twist and I just feel a lot better when my hair is personally protected now like I said I usually don't keep these in for too long I usually take them out within a week or two I'm not going to do that this time I'm actually going to keep these in for a while maybe about a month no, um, yeah, so I'm probably going to keep these in for about a month and I'm going to show you guys how I maintain my scalp, how I maintain my hair. We're going to be doing all those videos and another thing I do want to say is I don't style my twist, I mean my braids. I don't style my braids only because... I don't want my hair being pulled in any direction, especially the front or anything. I know people style their hair and up here and back and just do so many things, but I don't want any more tension on my scalp than there needs to be. So I just wear my hair down. So I'm just going to keep braiding this down. Okay, so that is how I did it. So my my twists are securely underneath the braid. It's moisturized. And also when you twist your hair underneath your braid and you put moisture into that twist, it's going to retain that moisture a lot longer. Trust me, okay? And yeah, so this is the hairstyle I'm going to be rocking. And I hope you guys like them as much as I do. And even if you don't, I still like them. So, hey, <laughs> do what makes you happy. All right, you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. I love you guys so much. And thank you for tuning into another video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to rate, comment, and join the tribe. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one.